<laughs> no, it isn't different. From my that, first that isn't different. <laughs> no, no, well, it was different from my first, but it was two different. Uh, you spoke from your heart, though, right? Yeah. You talk what you care about. That's all I want you to do right up here. Because you're not doing anything different. You're saying the exact same thing to the exact same way, but you're doing it in front of us instead. Can you do that? Okay. I always have to shake my hand. When we, when you asked us to speak about our problems, that was kind of our first attempt at public speaking and saying exactly what we felt. Because first you asked us what, what we felt was our problem, and then you asked us specific points about it, about why we felt so passionate about the certain things. So what problem do you care about? Well, I care about, um, like I said, our college student participation in colleges. Um, I would say, um, I don't know exactly off the top of my head uh, numbers, but like I said, uh, 25, I would say very small amount of students participate, especially here at Lincoln College, and the rest just come to class and they go home. And I feel like in order to be a well-rounded person, you need to have different things in your life. It can't just be all class and all lecture, or all friends and all party, or all seminars and all uh, listening to people speak. It's, it has to be like everything, and that's what makes you a good person. And a good, it's, it makes it makes it easier for you to do things like this, like public speaking. So, what is your solution? Um, maybe uh, a little bit more advertising. Like, I'm kind of surprised that there's not that many people here at this public speaking event. I actually I didn't see any flyers or anything around the campus. I knew because I'm in the spring clubs. Because we were just told about it. And I saw a couple things on there just since this Friday that passed. But aside from that, I didn't see anything else around. And I feel like that maybe plays a big part in lack of uh, participation. So if clubs advertise more or students advertise more, then there will be more participation. Yes, I feel that. Okay. Good. I like it. I think you were pretty good. She didn't say a name. I'm sorry. My name is Shirley. Shirley? Very good. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> See, that was pretty easy. See, the, the, what you have to understand about public speaking is you will be repeating yourself a lot. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, I got used to this after giving, you know, my second or first class, that, um, you know, semester after semester, you're saying the exact same things over and over again, a lot of times in the exact same way. And that's not a problem, because for many people, it's the first time they've heard it. So get used to the sound of your own voice. Get used to the sound of the ideas that you're talking about, because if you don't like it, no one else will. So this is why one of the things that, uh, you know, like my mom, for instance, advised that get in front of a mirror and practice, you know, speak to yourself. This is a bit weird, <laughs> honestly, to do that, to, to speak in front of yourself. It might work. But what I found is more effective is getting in front of people. And so classes are like training for me. After getting up over and over and over again, I get the ability to speak in front of people like they're my students. And I care about my students, so I care about the people I speak in front of the students. So that was easy. And you didn't blush. <laughs> you didn't collapse. You didn't faint. And that's good. So anyone else want to try it? How about you? <laughs> I'm have a very different um, basically, my topic was community support. Um, my beliefs are if there was more money allocated for the city, I mean, from the city and from um, the city, then that way we will have more programs, there will be more scholarships and more grants towards um, volunteer schools. Um, I believe they neglect Lehman just because we're like all the way in the Bronx. Downtown, like let's say um, John Jay or um, Glendora College, and that's probably the cause of um, well, we don't get so much money on our budget. Um, I'm part of city government, so um, we were able to tap into some funds that we had last year, and we were able to increase our budget for the clubs and like also the city government to more, make more events for the students. But um, that's still not enough. We're still, uh, we're still need more money from the city, or even more money from the city. 
um, in comparison to all the other the, um, other scenes for you. How was it? It was pretty good. He's Thank showing you. me, you know, his interest and uh, what, okay. what needs to be done and and uh, you know what, what exactly he wants to do. Mm -hmm. seemed good. You didn't need any prompting. You exactly what you wanted to say. You said what the problem was, what the solution was. That's it. Didn't say his name. Uh, <laughs> 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 Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, you know, two good examples there. People know what they're talking about. They already have some idea of problem and solution. That's all you have to say. So, how about you people ask? Okay. Excellent. All right. I'll start by saying my name, Carlos. How you doing, Carlos? I think is poverty, like in general, like worldwide, on kids, related to kids. Like there's many kids that don't have food, that don't go to school, and that's a real shame. I mean, and that is all due because of us, like the grown ups. It's our mistakes. And I think that we should find a way to, like, you know, help these kids. Like there's uh, international. International Children, uh, UNICEF, all of those. Uh, me, myself, I'm part of uh, International. I sponsor a child from Colombia. And if you think about it, it's only $22 a month. I mean, there's some people that can do it, but there's some people that can't. $22 a month, if you think about it, it's, it's nothing compared to what you pay, you know, throw your money around to another thing, like liquor. I think that kids is our future, and by providing, you know, just a little money, a little percentage, a little fraction of, you know, our budget will help for a better future. Yes? That's uh, pretty good, and I would like to speak with you after, afterwards if you give me a number or something like that. Uh, oh, right, I have a class, so. Yeah, no, <laughs> if you get that, that's why I know you got a class, so if you give me a number or whatever. Actually, just contact me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, I'll get in touch. Wonderful. So, how was that? That, that was very good. Very, very good. Very yeah. good. You knew what the problem was. You had already identified the solution. Perfect. Right. From some, from something that he didn't know what to talk about, he did very, he did very well. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, so have a good thank day. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Last much. person. Last <laughs> question. we get involved with the political process, we will be continue we will continue to be victims of having other people's interests imposed upon us. Unless there's a concerted effort within our community for us to be able to analyze our situation and to make a determination about what our proper interests are as a community or as a group of people. Um we will I lost my train of thought. Um, it's okay. a good picture there. Unless we, unless it's a concerted effort for us to calculate and analyze our situation and, um, and, and basically come up to come up with the, an idea about what our interests are, and we act on those interests, we will continue to be powerless. Powerless, basically, decisions will continue to be made over our head. Um, I think there needs to be a program of community political education instituted within our community so that from the adults to the youth in our community, we need to become politically aware of our surroundings and what's going on around us so we can begin to make decisions that will have a positive impact on our lives. Thank you. Very good. Great. Thank you very much. So how was that? That, that was, that was that really was, good. Um, pretty, that was pretty good because he, you, you had your idea, but I think it was like, like some, something you wrote. Did you write something like that? 
you can write something like that. But it was very articulate. It, it had good flow. Too. Yeah, it it, bec it sounded like you know something he uh, that was a, a pretty good. I think about it a lot. I didn't write it. <laughs> <laughs> but perhaps you should write it. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps you, should you write perhaps it. you should write it this way. You can articulate it and you make a speech. Great. Okay.